Let's take a look at how to invert colors here in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna show you how you can take full control over this. Right now I have a background and that background is white. You see this layer? It's selected right here. I could invert this layer with Command or Control I. It's pretty easy to remember. Any layer you have that you wanna invert, you can just use that shortcut key. Now it's found up in Image, down to Adjustments, down to invert. But I wanna tell you something about adjustment layers. And there is an invert adjustment layer because you might notice on these text layers here, I can't press Command I. It doesn't do anything. In fact, if we go up there, you'll see that it's actually grayed out. Well, how do I invert this color? Add an invert adjustment layer. Well, let's take a look at our adjustments panel. You can find that in the window dropdown. Go to adjustments, it'll pop open somewhere. The lower left-hand corner has the invert adjustment layer. Now, if you don't see this panel or don't have it open usually, you can actually go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then find invert right here. It's gonna add a new layer. It's gonna let you name it. If you click the button over there, it'll just add that invert adjustment layer. Now you notice that everything in here inverted because everything below this adjustment layer right here in my layers panel will invert its color, even if it's text or any other element. Now I could drag this below items and only invert the background layer or certain things of text, or I could even use a clipping mask and I'll show you how that works. The other thing that's cool about this adjustment layer is that you could turn the opacity down of the adjustment layer so it will only invert a little bit, right? So you can bring that down all the way back to zero or all the way up. You can show and hide this invert adjustment layer. You can also only tag it on certain things with the clipping mask. So if we hold Option or Alt, we can create a clipping mask and now the invert adjustment layer, you see this tiny arrow, is only affecting this Photoshop or in Photoshop subtitle that we have. You can see that if I just hoggle this on and off. This was the original text color, then the invert is applied to that text layer and now inverts that color. So you see, you have a lot more control over inverting your colors by using adjustment layers and it's non-destructive as well. So we can always turn this on or off or invert our entire document by putting an invert layer on the very top of every other layer in our document. But that is how you can invert colors here in Photoshop.